guys, Isaac Walton here for Hunting the River King with yet another awesome Android fishing app review. Today it's Ultimate Fishing Simulator. Now we've looked at two fly fishing games so far, both very neat. We're going to look at a conventional fishing game today, okay? Now this one, Ultimate Fishing Simulator, has a Big Brother version that is available on PC. It's highly rated, has superb graphics, and is probably one of the better fishing games that's available at this time. Um, oh, there's my battery is low notice. Anyway, this is the mobile version of it. It's free. There are quite a few areas where they try to get you to purchase things, but you're not completely overwhelmed with ads. It's just you'll notice there are more than others. Anyway, let's get into it. So 3D background here, great images developed out of Europe. These are yellow perch you'll see here. There are free fishing, fishing tasks, store equipment, tournaments, a fish market, and rankings. Let's just jump into some free fishing. There's a tutorial, and we're going to be fishing in Warsaw. A lot of places to unlock that require a fair amount of leveling up. Still got a way to go. These are pretty much all in Europe, but as I scroll around here, you'll see that some are actually in the United States, which is New York the lake. I'm not sure what that is, <laughs> but it has bass and trout. Um, there's even a rocky river, I suppose, trying to be something like northern uh, United States with bass and pike. Um, Ottawa, asp and catfish, interesting, and Kathleen Lake bass and catfish. You really have to climb quite a bit up to get to these or buy licenses or pay real money. Anyway, back to free fishing. We'll scroll all the way over to the lake we're going to be fishing out today. Now something you're going to notice that's different is this is a first person game. Okay, let's go ahead and load this, which means unlike mainstream fishing where you see your character and maybe a little bit more like um, the fly fishing simulator, real fly fishing, um, you actually are controlling a character and walking up to the water yourself. Now this is probably the most open world fishing game that's out there right now. Um, look, I'm looking all the way around. The graphics are pretty crisp, pretty clear. I'm kind of fishing along a river in Europe. There are day, night, I should say more like weather cycles. You'll have rainy weather, you'll have nice weather, bad weather. Um, I'd say this is probably a little more on the nicer side today. Water looks good, good, great 3D images. The cityscape in the background looks realistic. Everything looks quite nice. So, I've got my rod already out. Um, you can fish with lures or bait. Let's start off with lure, just to, I'm sorry, with bait. It's just because it's going to be easy to figure out what I'm doing. we got a bobber set up there. You can adjust all of that. And on the right-hand side of the screen, you'll see things that show a boat, fish sonar, a chum um, slingshot, and your fish keeper um, net. To cast, you're just going to tap where you want to cast and then click cast. And when I, if I want to, if I move on the right side of the screen, I can set the hook, move the bobber up and down, bounce the lure, etc. Oh, oh, and I, well, I had a hit and I missed it. Um, left hand side of the screen there's a little zoomed in image Oh, and missed that one too of the bobber you can see it's already bouncing up and down a little bit wait for the hit wait for it to go all the way down and there we go I'm hooked up very small fish he's really not fighting much my line tension doesn't even appear let's see what we got little fish here and some sort of bleak something we don't have in the United States I'm going to go ahead and keep that when you keep enough fish you can sell the fish for points and collect more items. That's basically how you progress through this game or you spend real money for that. So that's bait fishing and there's a lot more to it than just a bobber and some bait. There's a lot of different types of bait you can purchase. A lot of neat stuff like that. And something's biting my bobber again. Let's go ahead and bite my bobber, biting my bait. Let's go ahead and see if it decides to stick around. We'll set the hook, reel it in and then we'll try out some lures. Oh, there was a hit. Okay, this one a little bit larger. Oh, what's going on here? Did it come off? Nope, it's still on. I think my screen just stopped responding on me. Alright, oh, a little bit larger than the other fish. Okay, what do we get here? Is this another bleak? No, this is some sort of roach. Okay, another fish common in Europe, especially for a non-predator type of fish. But let's switch it up. Let's try a lure. Um, I'll start with a plastic worm. Okay, plastic worm there. You notice it immediately gets rid of my uh, bobber setup. Go ahead and tap on the screen. And we've got our plastic worm. Tap where we want to cast it. And we'll cast out there. Now notice in the top left hand corner, it shows a worm at the bottom of the basically um, the lake or the river. If I reel up a bit, I can get it into the green zone. And the green zone is where you want to keep it to get hits. And let's change our lures. So that was a plastic worm. 
throw on a spoon. This has got to be one of the ugliest spoons I've seen. Um, but I have seen lures that look like this, especially on websites that cater more toward a European fishing crowd. Looks like something you would troll, quite honestly. Oh, there's a hit. I had a little bit of feedback from my... and I missed it. Whoops. Alright. Um, the game actually vibrates when you get a hit when you're fishing um, with a lure. You gotta set the hook just at the right time. It tends to be right after you. Right there. And I miss it again. Okay, too early. You're gonna miss it too late, and you'll definitely miss it. I tend to cast to set the hook a little too early, quite honestly. This isn't one of those games where every single cast you're gonna hook up. There we go. Now I'm on. Set the hook just right. Let's see what we got here. Interesting. Yellow perch. Okay. Now this is something I would see caught up in the Columbia River while you still fish up in Washington. These guys are really fun and they're absolutely delicious. Let's see if we can't hook some more. When I used to catch them, they would always come in an enormous school. You catch one, you could almost guarantee that you would catch three or four afterwards. Lures, bait, usually bait, but even with lures, you just kill it on them. Love catching them. Okay. Casting that again. Let's see if we can't catch some more. Again, keeping that spoon right in kind of the green zone there. No. Nope. Now the uh, PC version actually has fly fishing, but as far as I can tell, the mobile version is pretty much all... There we go. Another yellow perch, I betcha. Ooh, it's a bigger one. We're going to use the net on it. All right. Hook up. Yellow perch, 3.3 pounds. Fish actually look really realistic. That looks like a yellow perch to me, and I'm going to keep it. So I've shown you all that. Let's get out of the fishing, and let's go to finish fishing. Ah, let's change the units as well. Oh, it's on pounds. Interesting. Okay. Let's go back and show you what you can do with the fish once you've actually caught them. And unfortunately, you're going to run into ads like this, which is kind of annoying. Um, this is the free version. I haven't paid money for it, and the ads do pop up a fair amount. Not enough to make or break it, but enough to be like, gosh, that really is annoying. All right, uh, so fish market. This is how you're going to get your points or your coins to kind of advance through the game. I can I have all these different fish here. It's kind of cool seeing them swimming out there. Uh, perch, sell that for 23. Roach, sell them at five. <laughs> the poor bleak is worth just about nothing. Perch are much more valuable. And when I go back to the main menu, it's going to hit me with another ad. That's where it gets a little bit annoying. The fishing's fine. You're not interrupted with stuff, but during this, you are interrupted with stuff. All right, and other things you can do in this, um, you can also take a look at fishing task. These are basically tournaments. Um, as you level up, you'll have access to more locations. Currently, I only have locations in Poland. This is an easier way to earn points. At Warsaw here, if I catch any fish, 10 of them must weigh at least 11 pounds. I'll get some sort of award and I can just keep scrolling through these. So pretty fun. Overall, you know, I've played Ultimate Fishing Simulator a fair amount. I just haven't progressed that much in it. Um, it's one of the more realistic conventional fishing games. The graphics are pretty solid. The casting mechanic feels a little bit stiff, uh, but reeling the lures in, trying to keep it a certain area, does a good job of kind of mimicking what it really feels like to fish with artificial lures or with bait. There is a lot of equipment here, a lot of variety, a lot of stuff you can try out. Heck, there's even a boat, different types of boats you can purchase if you're able to get enough coin. I've been playing this for a fair amount of time. I have 1300 That costs you 10000 That's going to be a long time. If you really want your luxury yacht, which I can't imagine what you're going to do on these um, small <laughs> bodies of water, you can get that as well. There's a lot of things to get. And you know, earlier I told you that there was no fly fishing. Let's just make sure. Yeah, it looks like there is no fly fishing. Anyway, guys, that's Ultimate Fishing Simulator. It's pretty fun if you want a conventional fishing fix that is definitely more European targeted but does have some um, US stuff as well. Go ahead and check it out. You may consider um, purchasing it to get rid of these ads. They are not. <laughs> they definitely are distracting and take away from the game. Hope you guys enjoyed this review. I'll be coming at you next with some more interesting Android fishing games, some of my top favorite ones. Thanks for watching, guys.